Here you can view seven layouts that were exhibited at the Dundee Model Railway Show in October 2019. At the Heritage and Model Rail channel I describe model railway layouts and how they are constructed and operated. If this is your first time to my channel, start now by subscribing and clicking on the bell icon for notifications. Here you can view the end gauge layout Helmstadt, exhibited by the Perth Model Railway Group. Helmstadt is an imaginary cathedral city near Munich, Bavaria set during the 1950s in Epoch 3. The model depicts DB Deutsche Bundesbahn of West Germany, but trains of the DRG Epoch 2 are also in evidence. During this period Germany was a divided country, split in 1945 into East and West, and some lines which had previously crossed the border were closed or truncated, but the line via Helmstadt continue to operate as a cross-border link. Helmstadt serves as a busy intermediate station for trains spiralling in all directions. To the north for Leipzig, Dresden and Prague, to the east for Munich, Vienna and Budapest, to the south for Switzerland and the Austrian Tyrol, and the west for Stuttgart, Frankfurt and the Rhine Valley. Passenger traffic makes up the majority of the trains and you will see the Rheingold Express, the Mitropa and a selection of ordinary passenger stock. Freight trains also play an important part of the scene and a variety of locomotives can be rostered to haul freight throughout Europe. Although Helmstadt is a busy station it does not have any locomotive sheds or freight facilities as these are located at the junction stations which are both to the east and west of the town. The layout is 13 feet by 4 feet and has two boards. The buildings are all kit built with pictures from the kit boxes making up the back scene. Track is Pico and control is analog DC. Stock is a mixture of Fleischmann, Trix, Mini Trix and Atlas. My thanks to the Perth Model Railway Group for supplying the information. This N-gauge layout is Fullerton Junction, exhibited by the Kyle Model Railway Club. Fullerton Junction is a fictitious location set in the modern era with an occasional steam special. The layout is configured in a figure of eight with an outer loop running a variety of trains. The layout measures 12 feet by 4 feet across three boards. It can be operated by one person, but usually has two operators. Track and points are by Pico. Buildings are a mix of scratch built and kits. Control is analog DC. Stock is Graham Farish. My thanks to Andy Bell for supplying the information. Here you can view the N-gauge layout Burvey exhibited by the Dundee Model Railway Club. The Inverburvy or Burvey layout essentially depicts the small village of Inverburvy which lies 10 miles north of Montrose. The layout is set in the 1960s during the transition between steam and diesel locomotives. Research required hundreds of real-time and archive photographs and maps of the area that were printed during the layout's intended era. The houses and cottage, the ruin and the castle were all accurate representations of the actual buildings and can still be seen today. The railway unfortunately has been removed and the rail bed has been made into part of the coastal walkway. Erosion has also affected this area with half of the turntable split away and residing on the beach along with the pillbox. The tank traps have been removed and are now repurposed as sea defence in front of the cottage. The trees that you see on the model were individually made and are as close to the shape and colour of the actual trees when the initial research was carried out. The layout is 12 feet by 2 feet over 3 boards plus 1 fiddleboard. 
buildings are a mixture of scratch built and kit built. Control is analog DC. Stock is a mixture of Graham Farish, Backman and Dapol. My thanks to John Milligan. This OO gauge layout is Balburny Mill, exhibited by the Glenrothes Model Railway Club. Balburny Mill depicts a small paper mill goods yard with a diesel multiple unit DMU operated passenger branch line passing in the background. The layout is set in a fictional Fife location. The paper mill is situated alongside the Rothes branch line and because of its limited storage sidings is served by a regular goods service. Pulp, coal and starch are the most common deliveries by rail and the finished goods are dispatched in enclosed vans. The passenger branch line operates independently with three DMUs using an automatic shuttle. The layout is 12 feet by 2 feet across three 4 foot by 2 foot boards and has been designed for car transportation. All the buildings are scratch built and the track is Pico Code 100 with Pico points. Stock is a mixture of Lima and Backman. Couplings are KD which are ideal for shunting layouts. My thanks to David Kant for supplying the information. This HO gauge layout is Altdorf Ost, exhibited by Graham Arnold. With the reopening of a short link cord west of Altdorf, followed by the reopening of Altdorf Ost Bahnhof as part of an enlarged S Bahn network, the area has seen a large increase in rail traffic. DB regional trains now offer a variety of destinations and run side by side with through freight traffic, now bypassing the congested central station. A local gravel quarry also provides some interesting movements due to the restricted track layout. The layout is 12 feet by 5 feet, comprising three scenic and two fiddle boards. Buildings are kit built from Heljan, Faller and Auhagen. Track is Pico 75 in the scenic section and Pico 100 in the remainder with Pico points. Stock is a mixture of Pico, Rocco, Lilliput and Hobby Train. Control is DCC Gauge Master Prodigy Advanced. My thanks to Graham for helping with placing cameras and the information. This HO gauge layout is Williamson River, exhibited by the Cooper Model Railway Club. Williamson River represents a small industrial line somewhere in British Columbia, Canada. Featuring a small terminus station where Bud rail cars take passengers to work, the line has mixed freight services from both Canadian National and Canadian Pacific. A small fuel terminal receives fuel tankers thanks to its track access. Cut lumber is delivered to the timber yard by truck and departs in mixed freight cars. The larger industrial building receives and dispatches multiple box cars. We purchased the layout in 2017 as we needed a small layout that could be transported by car to exhibitions. It was named in memory of club member and former chairman Gregor Williamson. As Gregor had an interest in Canadian railways, we run mostly CP and CN railroad locos and freight cars, although you will see stock from railroads all over North America. The club has decided to keep the layout on a longer term and completely refurbish it. This has included building a complete new board replacing two individual sections, a full rewire, some new scenery along with a general overhaul of the layout. The layout is 10 feet by 4 feet across two boards which can be transported by car. Buildings are scratch built and track is Pico code 75. Stock is Backman, Cato and Atlas. 
My thanks to the Cooper members who helped me mount cameras on wagons and at various places on the layout. This O-gauge layout is Bathburn, exhibited by the Pentland Model Railway Group. Bathburn has been constructed to see what is possible in a relatively small space in O-gauge. The layout measures 10 feet by 2 feet and depicts a small suburban station somewhere in Britain. The time period of the model is flexible to allow us to use a variety of motive power we have available. So we can run from rail blue right up to just before privatisation. Passenger services are operated by a class 121 bubble car. Additional traffic on the layout comes in the form of freight wagons to Thompson Transport private sidings light locos and fuel deliveries to the small stabling point. The layout is controlled by a Digitrax DCC system and the majority of the locos are sound fitted and are a mixture of Helljam, Dapol and kit built models. The bubble car is a Backman Brassworks, also fitted with sound and directional lighting. The rolling stock is a mixture of ready to run and kit built vehicles. My thanks to Brian Thompson for supplying the information. To view more model railway layouts, click on the playlist. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified. See you soon.